The show hide tool is like a curtain you can use to hide what's on your notebook until you're ready to show the kids. So for example, you could start the lesson with the notebook hidden and then slowly reveal what information you have. Or for example, here we have the three shapes and we could ask the kids, what are these shapes? What are the names of these shapes? And then when we're happy to reveal the answers, we can pull down the curtain. You can also pull the curtain from left to right. And then when you're finished, turn it off. The eraser tool is actually quite clever. Because if you put anything on the notebook, like shape, or you put on some text, and then you pull out the eraser, you can't erase anything. This is good because it stays there all the time. But what you can use it for is if the kids make notes on the whiteboard, or you make notes, then you can use the eraser to erase this afterwards. The screen capture tool is very useful indeed. If you find something you want to use that's not in notebook, for example a, an image on the internet or on Word or on your desktop, you can use the screen capture tool to take that image and put it on your notebook. So for example I'm on this web page and I found a good exercise on shapes. I want to use this, I want to take it and put it on my notebook, but how do I do it? So I go back to my notebook and I open the tool Screen Capture. This will give me various options. The best one to use would be to capture part of the screen. So, my window stays open for the capture tool. I can click on Choose Part of the Screen. I can draw around the image, or the activity in this case. And then this saves this as an image on my notebook. Before I had two pages, now you can see I have three pages. The third page is the image I've just saved.